ever wondered how to express yourself better while shopping in English? Well, we've all been there. Imagine walking into a store, spotting something you love but not knowing the exact words to describe it or ask about it. That's where shopping vocabulary comes into play. Shopping vocabulary is a fascinating subset of the English language that can make your shopping experience smoother, more enjoyable and even more efficient. In this video, we'll dive into the world of shopping vocabulary and its significance. We're going to present you with 20 essential shopping vocabulary words along with their synonyms. So whether you're bargaining for a better deal at a flea market or discussing the latest fashion trends in a high-end boutique, you'll have the right words at your fingertips. Each word will be accompanied by subtitles to ensure you understand the pronunciation and spelling correctly. Stay with us as we embark on this journey to enrich your shopping vocabulary. Our first word of the day is purchase. A slightly fancier term for buy, purchase is used when we acquire something in exchange for money. Synonyms for purchase include acquire, obtain, procure, and snag. For example, I decided to purchase a new pair of shoes for the upcoming event. Moving on, we have bargain. A bargain is something you buy for less than the usual price, often after some negotiation. Think of it as a great deal. Synonyms for bargain include deal, steal, and value. You might say, I got a real bargain on this vintage record player at the flea market. Our third shopping vocabulary word is discount. A discount is a reduction in the usual price of an item. You might also hear it referred to as a markdown, price cut, or reduction. For example, the store is offering a 20% discount on all summer clothing. Next up is receipt. A receipt is a document that confirms you've made a purchase. It's like a little paper memory of your shopping trip. Other words for receipt include bill, invoice, slip, or voucher. In a sentence, you might say, I need to keep the receipt in case I decide to return the jacket. Our fifth and final word for now is refund. A refund is money that is given back when you return something you've bought. Synonyms for refund include reimbursement, repayment, return, or payback. For instance, I requested a refund for the damaged book I received. And there you have it, five shopping vocabulary words to add to your repertoire. So now, instead of just buying, you can purchase, snag, or acquire an item. Moving on, our next word is exchange. This is a term often used in retail to refer to the process of returning a purchased item to replace it with another. Synonyms for exchange could be swap, trade, or replace. For example, I want to exchange this shirt for a larger size. Next up, we have warranty. A warranty is a written guarantee issued to the purchaser of an article by its manufacturer, promising to repair or replace it if necessary within a specified period. In other words, it is an assurance that a product will perform to a certain standard. Other words for warranty include guarantee, assurance or pledge. An example sentence could be, this washing machine comes with a two-year warranty. Moving forward, we come to checkout. Checkout is the place in a store where you pay for your items. The term can also refer to the process of paying for the items you wish to purchase. Some other terms that are synonymous with checkout include cash desk, payment counter, or pay station. Here's how you might use it in a sentence. I'm done shopping, let's head to the checkout. Next, we have trolley. A trolley is a large container with wheels that you push around a supermarket or airport to carry the items you want to purchase or your luggage. Cart and buggy are common synonyms for trolley. An example sentence could be, can you grab a trolley for our groceries? Lastly, we have basket. A basket is a container used to hold or carry things, typically made from interwoven strips of cane or wire. In a shopping context, it's a smaller handheld alternative to a trolley. Handbasket or carrier can be used interchangeably with basket. For instance, I only need a few items, so I'll just take a basket. Remember, a cart can also be called a trolley or basket next time you go shopping. Let's dive into our next word, cashier. A cashier is the person who accepts payment for the goods you buy. Can you think of a synonym? Yes, teller or clerk are common alternatives. Let's use it in a sentence. I handed my credit card to the cashier to pay for my purchases. Moving on to our next term, sale. This is a word that all shoppers love to hear. Sale, in the context of shopping, refers to a period when goods or services are sold at reduced prices. Clearance, 
markdown and discount are all synonyms of sale. For instance, the store announced a summer sale with a 50% markdown on all items. Our next vocabulary word is wish list. A wish list is a list of desired but not immediately required items. Similar words for wish list could be want list or desired items list. Here's how you can use it in a sentence. She added the new book release to her wish list on the bookstore's website. Next up, we have the term retail. Retail refers to the sale of goods to the public in relatively small quantities for use or consumption. Consumer sales or direct sales can be used as synonyms for retail. An example sentence could be, the retail price of the gadget was significantly higher than the wholesale price. Lastly, we have wholesale. Wholesale means the selling of goods in large quantities to be retailed by others. Bulk sales or mass sales could be used as synonyms for wholesale. Let's use it in a sentence. The retailer bought the new collection of clothes at wholesale prices. And that brings us to the end of our fourth set of vocabulary words. Remember, whether it's a sale, clearance, markdown or discount, they all mean good news for shoppers. Our next word is invoice. This term can also be known as a bill or statement. It's essentially a document given to the buyer by the seller detailing the goods or services provided and the total amount due. So, for instance, after purchasing my new laptop, I asked the shop assistant for the invoice to keep track of my expenses. Moving on, we have catalog. This word is synonymous with brochure or pamphlet and refers to a printed or digital booklet containing a list of goods or services offered by a shop or company. You might say, the winter catalog has an impressive array of cozy sweaters and boots. Next up is fitting room, also known as a dressing room or change room. This is a small enclosure in a shop where one can try on clothes before buying them. For example, the shirt looks great, but I'd like to try it on in the fitting room to make sure it fits well. Our penultimate word is Q. In the shopping context, this term, also known as a line or wait, refers to a line of people or vehicles waiting their turn for a service or transaction. You might find yourself saying, there's a long queue at the checkout counter. It seems everyone decided to do their holiday shopping today. Lastly, we have window shopping. This phrase, also known as browsing or looking around, refers to the activity of looking at goods displayed in shop windows, usually without the intention of buying them. You might say, I didn't plan on buying anything today. I'm just window shopping. Each of these words and phrases adds a new layer to our shopping vocabulary, helping us to express our experiences more accurately and vividly. Remember, language is a powerful tool, and the more words we have at our disposal, the better we can communicate our thoughts, feelings, and experiences. And with invoice, bill, or statement, we wrap up our last set of vocabulary words. That was a whirlwind of words, wasn't it? Let's take a moment to go over them once again. We started off with purchase, a synonym for buy. Then we moved on to discount, also known as price reduction. Next was checkout or the cash register, followed by receipt or proof of purchase. We then learned about basket, another word for cart. We continued with sale, also known as clearance. Refund, also known as money back, came next. Warranty or guarantee was followed by exchange or swap. We wrapped up this set with invoice, another term for bill. The journey continued with retail or sales outlet, then wholesale or bulk sale. Bargain also known as good deal, was next. We then learned about merchandise, another word for goods, stock, another term for inventory, wrapped up this set. Finally, we learned about consumer or buyer, then vendor or seller. Store, another term for shop, was followed by mall or shopping center. And lastly, coupon, another word for voucher. Now you are all set to shop till you drop and in style with your enriched vocabulary. We've come to the end of our shopping spree. I hope you're walking away with a cart full of new words and synonyms to enhance your shopping experiences. Just think of all the expressions, all the words you can now use to describe your purchases and interactions. Remember, language is a living, breathing entity and it grows, changes and evolves just like we do. Learning new vocabulary is a continuous process. It's like going on a never-ending shopping trip where each aisle is filled with new words waiting to be discovered. Don't be shy to use these words the next time you go shopping. Whether you're bargaining for a better price or asking for a specific product, these words will help you communicate effectively. Remember, 
Every shopping trip is an opportunity to practice your new vocabulary.